I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Wednesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti's first with weather. Well, Dick, we have storms across the southern part of the state today, and they continue to be soaked. Well, as we head over the next few days, we do have enough moisture in place just about anywhere across New Mexico to touch off a few showers, especially to the north over mountain sections. But the south will really be the favorite area until we get into Friday through Sunday. Then the remnants of Alex could well come up and give us a showery start to the holiday weekend. Former Albuquerque real estate mogul Doug Vaughn faced another crowd of angry investors Wednesday in federal bankruptcy court. Some of those investors lost their retirement funds in Vaughn's suspected multi-million dollar Ponzi scheme. Nearly 40 people showed up today. Vaughn and the attorneys went over all his assets, including this mega mansion. But when asked questions by investors who wanted to know what happened to their money, Vaughn took the fifth 32 times. The man who once had millions claimed that he is now living a very meager life. Last month, the judge ordered his bankruptcy switch to Chapter 7, which means all of his assets will be sold off to raise money for people he owes. One of the two boys who survived the June 17th plane crash at Ruidoso is now out of the hospital. A plane carrying two families from the Dallas area crashed just off the runway, killing five people. The cause has not been determined, but there were seven people on that plane, and federal investigators say that's more than it was designed to carry. The only survivors, 12-year-old Christopher Ritchie and his 16-year-old brother Alex, were taken to an El Paso hospital. Christopher has now recovered enough to be released, but Alex remains hospitalized. The boy's parents both died in the crash, so Christopher has gone to a relative's home in Houston. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.